What's up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video and today, well, we're going to be doing a portfolio update video on Trading212 and it's a different angle I know, I, to be honest with you, I wanted to change it up, I wanted to just be able to stand up and not sit down and like, I just feel like it's just easier and better to just stand up, so yeah, different angle and yeah, it's just this was the only spot I could actually do in the office standing up, so background is probably not the best I know going to try and make that better eventually but just a quick one um, to hop on because I haven't done one in a while and a lot of has changed in the sense of the portfolio really. So the first one we have got is Apple and we've got seven shares of this like we always have. I've had this for three years or so. I always remember having buying these shares for the first time. Uh, it's going to be something I think I'm just going to stick with like for a while until anything goes wrong with Apple but like I bought these seven shares when I was 21 and I'm 24 now and I went with this stock because obviously Apple's a solid stock it's always growing I bought this when I was at this job that I was at previously and I just remember stepping outside the office and just going on training two on two and just buying those seven shares and it's just yeah it's just cool to see like 80 86 percent up and obviously three years ago myself like at 21 I would, I would have been happy with that 86 percent like who can't who can't be like obviously it would have been nice to have put more money in but um yeah at the time i obviously didn't have a lot of money to put in but it was cool to see that yeah i'm up 86 percent. i want to just shout out the guy who spotted me in my local town it was quite funny it was when we were all watching england and i was i've had a few, i had a few drinks at the time and yeah it was cool to see it was cool to see that um someone recognized me to have a chat about stocks and everything. Obviously, it was a shame that I couldn't properly have a chat, but yeah, shout out to you um, if you're watching this. Good to chat. Palantir is the next one, and I've got 546 shares of this. I want to buy more Palantir. Like, I do. I really do want to buy more Palantir, but the problem is, at the moment that I'm facing is, it is overvalued. It's just, it is overvalued, uh, depending on how you look at it. And I am up 46% like it's it's crazy we are down today on yeah we're down 2.4 percent so it was a lot more than this at one point but yeah i'm wanting to buy more earnings are coming out very soon I believe off the top of my head is it like 5th of august something like that so it'd be interesting to see what the earnings are but i wanted to buy more but i'm not going to be buying at this price that's not what i'm going to be doing but i am also not going to be selling because this is a long time hold for me it always has been if you've been watching the channel and I'm very happy to see a stock that I believed in a few years ago and it's now starting to perform how I envisioned it. Obviously, I like I said in previous videos, I made mistakes in buying it way too high, way, way, way too high. Really annoyed me how I didn't understand valuations at the time at all and if something was overvalued or not. But I've learned my lesson now and that is something I can bring into future picks if I buy a stock or something like that so yeah I could have been buying this at seven eight dollars but I wasn't I was buying it at twenty five dollars twenty four eighteen fourteen twelve I was averaging down but that just shows you even if you buy the top or near the tops if you average down you get rewarded and that's what's happened uh, I managed to get my average down to nineteen dollars which is still considerably very high for how long I knew about this stock but we won't go into it but at least we're up now um, for now anyway <laughs> but yeah up 46 percent. paypal's having a rough one paypal is having a rough one like the money in fintech is just not there to be honest with you it's just really not and i am just it's just it's just very stagnant at the moment and yeah we're up nine percent actually we're up 16 percent, but the fx impact screw me over so it's not actually as bad but yeah, not too bad. Still believe in Pal uh, Palantir, PayPal. Uh, it's an undervalued stock and I'm going to be holding this for a lot longer. SoFi. So going back to the fintech industry, obviously everything as a whole is down a lot. As we can see with SoFi, it's down considerably like a lot compared to what it was previously. It was at like $25 at one point. Obviously, that's what I mean by stocks being overhyped overvalued by cr like just crazy amounts glad i wasn't buying it then i bought i believe at a good time which is 
about seven dollars yeah seven dollars fifty and i'm break even at the moment i was down a bit at one point um because it got down to six dollars something but it's recovered a bit and yeah i'm just going to be holding this because i do believe we will start well we'll start turning positive with the earnings and we can start seeing more growth happening with sofi and actually becoming a profitable company which means we can start making money on the shares obviously and yeah that's sofi for you if i sound bunged up i am sorry because i am kind of bunged up to be fair but going on to tesla we got 33 shares of this and i was buying more of this and i showed it on my channel at 160 70 80 180 dollars and it's meant that I've meant been able to bring my average down to 209, which is still not great, but it's better than it was. And I know some people got really high averages on Tesla, and I'm up 13% on Tesla, um, or 17 if you don't include the FX impact. And yeah, obviously previously it has reached the highs of $400 before Tesla. So yeah, not too bad at all with my position with my position and I've always said it with Tesla I'm going to summarize I don't think it's a car company well it isn't a car company like at the moment it's a car company with a bit of solar but what they're developing is crazy they're going into chips they're going into autonomous driving they're going into robots with the Optimus robots they they're going to scale obviously their solar company and also the car company and They've just got loads of different things, even that I can't remember off the top of my head, but they've got so many different angles that they're going to absolutely take over, really, when it comes to a lot of things for the future. And I think Tesla is a good bet to bet on and be in. So have a look, research into Tesla, because I do recommend if you're not in it. And I think Tesla will have its time where it has an NVIDIA moment like it has in the past. And that'll be when they start announcing all the new news, which is the autonomous, the optimus, and how they can start generating money. But that's far in the future. Well, kind of near now. And yeah, it's just a stock that I believe in. So I'm going to add it all up and tell you the total. I was also going to, I don't know whether to put the cash that I hold in the, the stocks portfolio i think i'm not going to because that could vary i could take some out i could not i might i don't know what i'm going to do so i won't include the cash some i'll just add up the stocks so in total the stock portfolio is worth twenty six thousand one hundred and ninety five pound so we're getting closer to that 30k mark and hopefully we can i'm not going to be buying any stocks at the moment though because the stocks i hold they're getting on the overvalued side well i guess paypal isn't so far i would consider buying some but at the moment there isn't anything that's standing out to me that i want to be getting right now i have been focusing a lot on crypto putting money in crypto and that's been going very well um, which i will do an update on that very soon as well so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video give this a like subscribe if you're new and i appreciate all the support